I'm sure you are all tired after a busy night's hacking, so I won't keep you long. I hope the flow of snacks was enough to fuel your creativity and keep you going. First of all, I want to say well done to all those of you who took part, and especially to those recognized by the panel for an award. And second, I want to remind you why transparency is so important for digital services. When you buy a product, it's important to know what you are getting. In the traditional world of products and services, we have fairly developed markets, and we do that fairly well. When you buy food, for example, you can get accurate and detailed information about what's in it, how many calories, and so on. And if that information makes you decide that you don't want that product after all, you can just buy something else. If that weren't the case, if for some products uh, you know and you don't know what you were getting, then people would trust those products less and would buy them less. Transparency is just as important in the newer uh, era of internet services. All too often it's said that broadband speeds are not at the level promised. And I hear allegations that some internet providers throttle degrading the quality of services like voice over IP such as Skype or preventing them altogether. Consumers need to know what the situation is. And I need to know what the situation is too. Because I want to act on the basis of facts, not passion. I want to know whether customers really do know what service they are signing up to. And I want to know practices like throttling and blocking really exist. And I want to make sure that consumers can switch providers easily, if they don't like what service they are getting. We are taking action in this area. We are working with the SEM Knows project to get reliable statistics on whether the rhetoric matches the reality of broadband performance across Europe. And I've asked the experts in Barrick to investigate all those ERAs. Transparency, blocking, throttling and switching. Alongside that, user-generated IDs can be really positive too. Because in the Commission we can provide the framework that allows the digital world to flourish. But the best ideas come from the grassroots. This award, for example, it's not our award. But the ideas you have come up with uh, with will and power, ordinary users, to know what deal they are getting online, helping us achieve our goals. So, many thanks to the organizers. More importantly, initiatives like this one show the importance of an open internet. An internet with access for everyone, from the innovators who provide content to those who use it. The right data will help us ensure that we take the right actions. Actions that are evidence-based, actions that support transparency, and actions that do not inhibit but promote innovation. Well done to you all, and congratulations once more.